Hi, this is Jindo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. First off, my wife and I wish to thank all the people who wrote about our son. He's doing great. It's amazing with kids. It's like it never happened. But Papa and Mama have a few more gray hairs because we did not want to see our child sick. It hurts. It hurts to the quick. And that leads to our subject today. Wisdom. The wisdom of emptiness. Because emptiness is the most radical form of just being with life the way it is that could possibly be. Prajna, wisdom, is to taste, to know, to lose ourself into emptiness. But this emptiness is not nothing, it's not zero. In a sense, everything I ever speak of here is just about emptiness, and that's not nothing, that's not zero, but neither is it necessarily something. So what is it? Emptiness is that nothing is standing still. Everything is constantly moving. Everything is interconnected. Even you, even me, we're empty too. We think we're here. We think the world's out there. No, my friend. It's all interconnected and flowing and moving like swirling waters. And what we need to do is just cast out our arms and let it be. Let it carry us away. That is emptiness. Freedom, non-attachment, allowing, being one with, even beyond words. We are going with the flow. Everything is just flowing. There is just the flowing not even that in words. That's a pretty good way to be because life is always taking you where it will. And when we see that all of life is empty and we allow that emptiness to be, we are free! Hallelujah! This prajna, this wisdom, is not merely an intellectual understanding of this, but it is truly letting go, letting go. We see that the mind constructs categories of separation, this thing and that thing, things we like, things we don't like, ideas of the past, fears of the future even a dream of ourself and everything that is not the self. And what if we just blow it all the way into emptiness? You often hear me say, if you have a problem, and the mind is still and quiet. Where's the problem? Emptiness is the fact that these things we think are real that we put names on, that we consider to be the events and objects of our life, are just kind of created up here. And in reality, life is just this wonderful dance. Let it dance. Go with the dancing. Dancing is emptiness. Better than the word emptiness, maybe we should just call it the great dance. It's never standing still, yet it's all connected, like dancers on a stage, ever moving, but all connected. When we don't resist the dance, when we just go with the dance, we are the dancers. Let's dance. The Hasidic Jews, if you've ever seen, to show that their appreciation of God, they dance. Many religions, the whirling dervishes, they dance. I'm a little too much of a klutz to give you my whirling dervish impersonation. But life dances, moving. And when you don't resist, even when your child is ill, do the child is ill dance. That is the liberation of emptiness. Somehow life has placed us on the stage 
and we find ourselves moving and turning with the other dancers. Just dance. That is emptiness. It may carry you into places and scenes and motions that you do not at that moment like. Drop your dislike. Drop your aversions and just dance. It's all connected. It's all constantly moving. And to lose yourself in that dance, not just intellectually, but to just lose yourself in the dance, is prajna. The prajna paramita, the perfection of wisdom.